let us discuss the theorems on the homogeneous equation. So, that is the pair of straight lines which represents a pair of sorry I repeat once again. So, let us discuss the theorems on pair of straight lines which is in the form of a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0. The first theorem statement So, now theorem number 1, let us have a discussion on theorem number 1. If A, B and H all are not 0, then then a pair of pair of straight lines pair of straight lines a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0 represents represents two lines which passes which pass through origin which pass through the origin. So, this is the theorem. So, otherwise we can state the theorem like this also. It represents a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0 to better actually. So, repeat this one. You repeat it now. If a b H are not all zero. Okay, and H square greater than or equal to A B, then A X square plus two H X Y plus b y square is equal to 0 represents 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 a pair of a pair of straight lines straight lines passing through the origin passing through the origin so this is the theorem so now we need to we need to prove that this a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square equals to 0 represents a pair of straight lines, two straight lines. The each passes through the origin that is an f. So, the any line the which passes through the origin will be in the form of y is equal to m x. So, you might have studied in straight line chapter understood now. So, that means now we need to prove that there exist two straight lines one is in the form of y is equal to m 1 x and other one is y is equal to m 2 x. So, that is enough that means a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0 represents that means the separate equations or individual equations of this one 
y is equal to m1 x is equal to 0 and y is equal to m2 x is equal to 0 that's enough so now let us prove this theorem now the proof now follows so now consider a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0. See this is 1. Let us say let y is equal to m x. Okay. Let us say y is equal to m x. Otherwise no problem first. So let us do like this now. Divide both sides by x square. So let us divide this equation both sides by x square. Let us see what do we get now. This a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0 divided by x square and as well as 0 divided by x square. So let it be separated now. A x square by x square plus 2 h x by x square plus b y square by x square 0 by something is 0. So now x square x square gets cancelled we get a plus here x x gets cancelled we have 2 h of y by x plus this can be written b of y by x whole square equal to 0. So now let us suppose let us suppose let us suppose y by x is equal to m or say this is. Now what does it become? It's very simple. It becomes see a plus 2 h m plus b m square is equal to 0. So it can be rewritten. So that means we get we get b m square plus 2 h m plus a is equal to 0. So now what does it represent? So it represents a quadratic equation in m. Being a quadratic equation, it may have the two roots. The one is say m1, other one is m2. Isn't it now? So that means we can say that since it represents it represents a quadratic equation in m okay in m so let the roots be let the roots be m1 and m2 so that means now we get here for m we get m1 and m2 say like this. So y is equal to y by x is equal to m1 y is equal to m1x say it is 1. The next one y by x is equal to say m2. Now what do we get y is equal to m2x say this is 2. Now just observe what do you mean by if y is equal to m1x? It is a line straight line which passes through the origin. The even y is equal to m2x also the passes through the origin. Hence we conclude that this ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0 represents a pair of straight lines passing through the origin. So that we may give the conclusion 
and again we will write the last step result as hence hence ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0 represents a pair of straight lines passing through the origin so that can be concluded so this is the theorem so now the next step so how to find out the separate equations or individual equations of ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0 so we shall discuss and we need to find out.